Welcome everybody to the Xbox Design Lab. These are 10 of my very own custom ideas for you guys to check out. First up, we're going with the new Duke. That's right, this is inspired by the OG Xbox, the original big old Duke controller that Xbox dropped on us. Well, we're going to get a new Duke in here to drop on Xbox this time with the Design Lab. So we're going with the all black body there with the black back and we put some uh, little accents there. We're putting some accents of the lime green on there as well with the classic colored buttons in the white uh, here on the uh, view menu and share buttons gonna be a uh, black on white there and then we're gonna engrave it the new Duke we're gonna call it the Duke again here it's looking big it's looking black it's looking beautiful just how I like it look at that there you get the back view those triggers are just hiding back there those little lime green triggers you didn't have that on the original but this is the new school we're doing a little bit different here next up we're doing the Charizard this is the Pokemon control you know we got to go with the orange on the body there but up under his wings he's got those turquoise underneath his wings there so we're doing that on the back side the back body of the controller there kind of like the wings and then we're going with the white triggers the robot white like the nails that you see he's got white nails charizard so we're gonna do that throw that on there now with the thumbsticks we got to bring some of that yellow from the back to the front there as well he's got yellow on his belly and then we're gonna leave uh the white on the buttons there the x y b and a buttons and the white there on the uh, share buttons and what have you because that will represent his nails as well there in the front so there you have it guys charizard is the controller check it out there on the xbox design lab for 80 dollars 79.98 with the engraving and all that as well next up we have splinter cell sam fisher here we're going black again here on the body and we're gonna do a little uh what is this storm gray i like to call it shadow gray because sam fisher's lurking back in the shadows so we're going with black and dark gray doing the triggers as well on that storm gray color and on the front we're doing the lime green electric green they call it on the d-pad and the triggers as you can see there it comes together as the three circles like the three circles in his night vision goggles perfect man i love it and then we're also going to darken out the buttons on the front there we're going to make them uh, shadowy as well and then engrave this thing splinter cell baby let's do it let's bring it back guys come on we're doing the new controllers let's get a new splinter cell game out here once you get that going there now you can make the new game and then you can play the new game on the new controller it's going to be perfect now we got teenage mutant ninja turtles tmnt out here we're going with the green body this time with the yellow back and we're going to do something special up here on the bumpers that's going to be like their shell there that's the closest we can get to brown on these new controllers and then you can take your choice here you want blue for donatello or Raphael, whatever their names are and whatever colors go with them whichever one is your favorite there pick that for the trigger so you can do a little bit of customizing on the customizing take your pick there we're going to add the yellow to the front as well with the colorful buttons to correspond with the different colorful ninja turtles and stuff like that and then we're going to gray out those buttons there kind of matches the xbox logo up there pretty nice and we're going to put tmnt on here as the engraving there look at that it's colorful it's beautiful it really looks like a turtle in a god dang half shell you gotta love that guys so there you have have it a ninja turtle controller who would have thunk it man so uh next up we're gonna do dragon ball z gotta go with the orange from goku's little kung fu robe or whatever you want to call it out there and then the red on the back there from the dragon ball logo and also the star on the dragon balls now I, dragon balls are orange but i would have thought they would have been like green and scaly or dark brown or something but dragon balls are actually orange and so we're gonna put the uh red on the d-pad there to kind of represent like the star on the dragon balls and then the orange with the yellow there comes together nicely with the black background buttons and dragon Ball Z is very colorful and this is a very colorful controller throw the engraving on there there's no mistaking it man there it is a dragon ball z controller you can play dragon ball fighters or xenoverse whatever they're good games out there check them out now we have perfect dark this is joanna dark here she's got a nice little tight get up there i like that she's got the dark blue with the black going on so we're gonna get that going on the controller as well we got the carbon black with that dark blue now we're gonna get a little bit of that silver in there as well that very futuristic silver look with the dark blue and black uh we are gonna go with the ash gray there but also the robot white as well and then we're gonna black out the buttons perfect dark we're gonna dark the buttons if you will and uh get the engraving going on there as well they wouldn't let me put perfect dark is this some 
kind of sign. Maybe they're going to come out with a perfect dark controller and they don't want no one getting it on their design before they can get that one out there. We're going to change it up and put Joanna Dark on there as the engraving. You know, we'll see. I think Perfect Dark there is looking perfect. Now we have the American flag. We're going patriotic. The 4th of July, this would be great for, or if you're playing for the Olympic team, or you know, you just love America a whole bunch and everything else like that, or maybe you're playing a competitive uh, game and you're representing your country out there. So you can pick this controller up here, red, white, and blue all the way, baby. White body with the red bumpers. And you see they alternate there. You got the blue and then the D-pad buttons red. Next is blue again and then red up at the top there. See, you gotta really think these things out. These little details, man, come together to make a big difference out here. So uh, I want to call this the Patriot like the Mel Gibson movie, but Mel Gibson, I'm not a big fan of him no more. All right, he was saying some racist stuff and I don't like that. So he's out, but this controller is in. Now this is the Wave Bird. This is a GameCube controller inspiration here. This is one of my favorite controllers. The Wave Bird was a great controller for the GameCube. It was wireless and everything way ahead of its time. Super comfortable as well. And it had uh, some great colors on it. You had a purple bumper with a silver gray body there. Yellow joystick. If you remember on the GameCube, it had that yellow joystick. We can't just put one yellow one on here. So we're going all the way with the yellow. Sometimes the left one got a little yellow. Two works there with the colorful buttons like the Wave Bird had. And we're going to engrave it with the Wave Bird. Man, I miss it so much, but now I can feel like I'm almost playing with it on the Xbox. And the Wave Bird was comfortable, but this new Xbox controller gives it a run for its money there. Both really great controllers, so check them out. Now, this is a Junk Snail. This game is a little indie little game I made over there on itch.io. You can check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. My first indie game, man. I'm learning. I'm, you know, doing big things out here. So check it out. Well, it's actually a little thing. It's a little indie game about a little snail, but it's a big step for me. So I got the inspiration from that with the orange and the yellow, the main character, the Junk Snail there. It's a very colorful game, so I'm going with colorful buttons out here. We're going to call this the Junk Snail Controller. Make it official there with the engraving. Can't play the game with this. It's only for PC and Mac, but hey, you know, you still need to show a little love when you're playing console for some of these PC-only games as well. So check it out there. This is a colorful controller there. I like that. Last but not least, hey, I'm going to, you know, do a little something for myself again here. This is the Controller Sports official Xbox Series X or S controller. We're going red body. We're going blue back. We're going blue bumpers, yellow, or what I like to imagine is gold. I like to throw a little yellow into some of my thumbnails and stuff like that. It's a little bit more colorful than just boring all the white out here. So I do that from time to time. Kind of reminds me of like golden thumbsticks or golden triggers. You know, if you're playing with controller sports, you got to be playing with golden triggers. You know, you got to be going for the gold, winning the gold, everything else like that. I could barely just fit it. I couldn't even go all caps. It wouldn't look as good. So you got to go lowercase there on the engraving if you want to fit everything in and make it look better. It's got to be one word, but it works, man. So there you have it. Those are 10 more of my designs. Custom designs are on the Xbox Design Lab. Check them out. Hopefully you're inspired to make your own. And until next time, this has been Rusty Fluger. Rusty Fluger. Over and out.